your truth, my truth, the truth. Whenever talking about philosophical concepts like this, whether it be God or the wider universe, or the happy-go-lucky feelings that you get watching cat videos on Facebook all day, it's a really deep conversation to get into, and I don't think I'm gonna go that deep today, although I do wanna have a continuation of the conversation I started about the truth and the issue that I had with him in full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood from one of my last videos. That's right, in one of my last videos, I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because you guys recommended it and I had a blast with it. Leave your recommendations down below so I can catch up on all the fantastic things that I've missed. But I did actually forget two things in that. One, it was like a 12 minute long video and anytime you have a problem with something and don't take your time to explain it, which I just kind of glossed over my issue with the truth, in the end, people gave me long comments in it and well, that was a long live stream to read through all of those. Comment down below if you would like me to read your comments. But also, I did forget to rate Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and basically it's an eight out of 10 for me. I absolutely love the show, even though it definitely has some glaring issues. But one of the issues that I had with it was the fact that the truth doesn't seem to apply the rules or use the same tactics with Ed or Alphonse. Being that the truth obviously takes Ed's arm and leg and wears them around like a skin puppet, whereas Alphonse's body in the truth realm uh, seems to be a fully autonomous Alphonse body. Now, it's basically connected by the mind is what they were saying in the show, which I get that, that makes sense. However, the thing that really just kind of strikes me as odd is the way that everybody says, oh, well, it's all about Ed. Ed did this thing. Ed did the transmutation. It was Ed's, you know, thing that he was doing. And everybody kind of removed the intention that Alphonse had. Alphonse did the same thing that Ed did. And yet his body was treated, his whole situation was treated differently by the truth. Now, this is something that I just didn't quite understand. And through having a conversation and reading through a ton of comments and a ton of very long comments on my last video, I think I'm starting to understand the truth a little bit better, but here was the crux of my original problem with it. The truth essentially wears one person's body as a skin suit and the other person not. Why is it that Ed goes and sees the truth starting to wear his, you know, body, but Alphonse is actually sh shown to be sitting there talking with the truth in a certain episode. That is very, very strange to me that the rules are that different for each of the brothers, meaning that they're not evenly applied across the board. You would think that when they go back to the truth realm after doing a human transmutation a couple, two or three more times, that the person standing there with Alphonse's body would be the truth, talking as the truth, talking to them, kind of taunting them, saying, well, look what you guys lost here. You should have, but it wasn't. It was very much Alphonse and his mind connected between obviously his soul and his body. And that's very weird to me. Why is it that the truth took the body parts to wear them around like a suit from one person, but didn't take them from the other person? Now, that being said, we don't actually have the truth interacting with really any other characters except for the homunculus at the end. And that was it. And we didn't see that exchange play out the same way as everybody else who had to give up a body part of their own in order to get the power of human trans or get the power of transmutation by just basically using their hands and not having to draw circles on the ground. This leaves the question open. Does the truth apply the rules or the punishments or the things that he does to people evenly across the board? And after seeing all of your comments and going, I just have a problem with the rules not being applied similarly, I kind of came to the conclusion that the truth doesn't apply the rules similarly. In fact, because we don't actually see him apply the rules to anybody else, we don't see their interactions with the truth, being the teacher, being my favorite character, Mustang, because that guy was absolutely awesome. We don't see the truth interact with anybody else in the show other than Ed and Alphonse. We know the truth has interacted with other people, we just don't see it. So we don't actually know if the truth took Mustang's eyes or actually like, is invisible and has the the internal organs of of the teacher we we have no idea and that leads me to believe that in this entire thing the truth acts 
individually with the different individuals. Now, this is definitely a stretch on my part to say this because it was a lot less of a stretch for me to say in my first video reviewing the show that I just watched to say, wow, the truth definitely isn't written well because he's not applying the same standards to two people. Why is he doing this? That doesn't make any sense. But the more I thought about it and the more I get a little bit philosophical with it, which is probably the worst way to interpret an anime is getting too philosophical with it. The truth himself is essentially all of the universe, which is something I knew in my first review of it, but I didn't want to dive too deeply into it. But the more that you dive deeply into it and the more that you see how he describes himself, what he describes himself as, and you see what people have to give up in order for him to interact with him and the way that he interacts differently with Alphonse and with Ed, taking all of that information into account is something that a lot of people definitely believe in the real world today. Very, very religious people believe that God interacts with everybody in unique and individual ways. And I think that was somewhat of an allegory here with the truth is that the reason that the truth didn't wear Alphonse's body around like a skin suit, the way that he was wearing the body parts of Ed around as a skin suit is because, well, the two boys are different and they needed different punishments, so to speak, or they needed different uh, guidance or they needed a different path, a different motivations. And in order to do that, the truth treats them differently as individuals. And Honestly, after reading all of the comments and going through it and really thinking about it even more, I don't think that the truth was written badly or even that it's a plot hole really anymore. I actually think that there is definitely, definitely more to the truth. However, that being said, for everybody who told me that I was wrong about how the truth was written, not a single two people, I say single two, not a duo of people had the same answer. Everybody told me that I was wrong, but nobody had the same answer as the next person. Everybody interpreted the truth as something different, as acting and functioning in a different way, right? Some more mechanically, some more philosophically. I think the writer was going for maybe something more philosophical. But again, that's why I started this video at the top with what I started this video off with was your truth, my truth, the truth. Well, obviously in the show, there's only one truth, just like there is in the real world. However, the way that we interact with that might be individual based on the person, based on where we're at, and based on the motivations that we need to have to get there. So at the end of the day, actually, if that was the case with the writing here, the truth is written absolutely awesome. And thank you all so much for checking out this video. If you would like to see some of my other uh, videos where I review anime and talk about those from your recommendations, they should be right up on the screen right now. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.